In this video, we're going to look at two Tailwind CSS directives, the layer directive and the apply directive. By the end of this short video, you'll understand how to use them and where to use them. Now, for my example, I'm going to use a plain HTML site. This is the site that I used in my Tailwind crash course. And you're free to use whichever type of integration you want. So it could be React, could be Vue, could be WordPress. As long as you have Tailwind CSS integrated on your site and set up to be able to write new CSS, that's all you need. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I've created a new button, which is output right there. And if we look at the HTML in our code editor, there's a bunch of Tailwind CSS utility classes, right? Pretty standard for what you'd expect for Tailwind. So our goal is to go from this here to having a single or a few CSS classes. So the bootstrap approach, if you will. First thing we need to do is to make sure that our main CSS is set up correctly. So I'll show you what I've got for my file. And it doesn't matter how you organize this, but I typically place my CSS inside of an assets folder. And then I have a main.css. Now, one thing to point out, you'll see that I'm using just the plain simple at import rule here, rather than if we look at the Tailwind docs, rather than the at Tailwind directive. So I'm doing that because when you add additional CSS files, you can run into trouble using the Tailwind directive. So if you're not using that, just a tip, this is probably the better structure. Now, Tailwind breaks up its CSS into three parts, base imports, components, and then utilities. And it outputs them in that order. So you may be thinking, well, why do we need that order? Why is that important? Well, that just comes down to CSS specificity. And if you go into the docs on this page that I'm on right now, they do talk you through why does Tailwind group styles into layers? So that means base styles is going to be the stuff that we consider our building blocks. So maybe typography, stuff like that. Our components will be things like buttons. And then utilities comes last because that's a chance for us to override any styles already set in either components or base. So for us to use the first directive for this video, which is the layer directive, we're going to open up our components buttons folder. And all you have to do is use that right there at layer components. Now, what this means is that when Tailwind creates the CSS file or compiles it, all the code inside of here is going to be added to our CSS file inside of the Tailwind component section. And you can already see the next directive in front of you, the apply directive. So let's create our button. I'm going to call it btn test. And the great thing about using the apply directive is that you can quite literally just copy your HTML CSS classes and drop them in inside here. So if we find our button, there it is right there. I'm going to copy every single thing. I'll call it btn test. And I'll just dump it right next to that apply. And be aware that inside of this, you can use all of the stuff that you could do in HTML. And what I mean by that is you can do focus styles, you can use different screens. So we could do something like that. Anything that you could do in HTML, you can still use within your CSS. Okay, we save both files. And now on the front end, we have this new CSS class called BTN test using all of the Tailwind utility styles. And our button should still look the same. There you go. And that in a nutshell is how you use the layer and the apply directives inside of your Tailwind theme. 